Due to the heavy damage the U-105 sustained on our first patrol, we were stuck in port for quite a long time, much longer than I would have liked. This did give the crew a lot of time to visit home and enjoy the sights, though. However, with the United States entering into the war, I was eager to get back out to sea and make a name for myself. New hunting grounds have opened up. Operation Peckenschlag has already kicked off with tremendous success. The opening blow was caused by Hardigan, commander of the U-123. He managed to torpedo a 20,000 tonner, with not a single warship or aircraft sent after his boat. Our orders are as follow. The U-105 is to proceed to grid CA-57, right off the coast of Virginia. This is supposed to be a very high traffic shipping lane, and with the lights from the American cities, tracking these ships should be very easy. Let the American hunting season begin. Hello everybody, Wolfpack345 here, and welcome back aboard the bridge of the U-105 once again on our second patrol. We have just departed from Lorient, as you can see all of the lighthouses back there. Uh, we haven't let, gotten very far at all, and the sun's just starting to set below the horizon. Uh, for our next patrol, we got assigned to a very interesting spot, and I'm sure most of you know where we are going. It's going to be the eastern seaboard of the United States. We can check on our exact grid here. Let's see. So we're supposed to go to CA-57. And uh, this is going to be extremely long. It's a long journey. 7,870 kilometers. And I don't even, we even have a little more to go till we get to our grid. But I'm going to try to avoid as much traffic out here as possible. I do not want to engage any ships and expend any of our torpedoes on this journey. Uh, if I happen to come across a lone merchant ship, sure, I'll, I'll shell it with my deck gun, but uh, convoy attacks, don't even think about it. It's going to be a very boring, boring, uh, well, journey for us, really. And U-boats that left Lorient at the beginning of Operation Drumbeat to attack shipping on the eastern seaboard were given this order. They were not to attack any ships until you know you got into position over here and then they'd all attack at once and kind of scare the United States and be like oh wow this happened rather quickly <laughs> which it really did we are going a little later there have been U-boats that have already arrived at the eastern seaboard at this point uh, it's currently February 5th we were in port for quite a while due to the extent of our damages from the last patrol oh, those mostly those pesky aircraft that really really did a number on us but anywho uh yeah aircraft might be a problem in this area as well the bay of biscay is going to be a little sticky so that's probably where a lot of our excitement is going to come this episode all right so our exact grid is ca57 if i am yep right here as you can see it's right off the coast of the united states right by norfolk so that'll actually be pretty exciting. I have a feeling we will encounter quite a bit of shipping in this area. And I have a feeling that the United States itself is going to be a very interesting spot. I'll admit, I have not come over here very often at Salt Hunter 3. But I do want to explore it quite a bit. And I'm sure later, once we have U-Tankers operational in the area, I'll go down into the Gulf of Mexico and everything like that. That would be quite a lot of fun as well. But there is no help out here. There are no U-tankers or supply ships, so I'm going to have to definitely keep an eye on fuel. It looks like the closest supply ship is going to be here, the Cortianus, which we thought about supplying at last patrol, but we decided against it. And I have fixed it, so it uh, it will work properly with the hard-coded fixes. So It will act as an actual supply ship. It will actually be quite nice. So if worse comes to worse, we can run over here fuel up and then head back home which i think i will end up doing that gives us a little bit more time over here uh near the united states so that's the current plan um what else is there to talk about we do have quite a bit so everyone all the crew got a u-boat war badge every uh increased marine sailor that served aboard a u-boat got this after their first patrol and then a few of these fellas uh, Herman Hess got an Iron Cross second class, and so did our watcher, watch officer up here. And, and now that I'm looking at it, I totally forgot to give a uh, crewman an extra qualification. I meant to give another uh, radio man. I might do that in Silent Hunter 3 Commander a little later. 
But other than that, I think that's really all I have to talk about. Oh, one last thing, I suppose. I, I got the... can't see it because it's so dark. I got the side emblems working. I ended up fixing it, and they work now, so we have that right there. I, I do like that side emblem. But other than that, I think that's all I have to say for now. Just that brief little update. And I am very excited for this patrol. Hopefully it will be a very successful one. I do have a feeling it will be. The torpedo situation, we just have a lot of G T2s. T2s, really. And then our reserves are uh, T1s or G7As. Uh, deck on ammunition as per normal. How many rounds do we have? 120. So yeah, we'll be, we'll, that'll do just fine. It looks like we're just going into a turn right now. All right, so I'll leave you guys with this as we start our long journey. Actually, I'm gonna keep rambling for a bit. Let's actually see how long time to a course end. 489 hours. Oh wow, that is quite a long time. And I didn't actually uh, adjust the game, so my time compression still only goes to uh, 1024, which is not not ideal for this type of journey. But it will have to do. Let's see how. So that's going to take, holy cow, 20 days about at our current speed. And I'm not going to go faster than this. If anything, I'm going to go, it'll end up being slower because I do plan on diving periodically just to be sure nothing is stalking us. And also that will save fuel. That little bit of fuel, which will help us stay over here longer. I do want this to be a long patrol, which it will be. This will be a long, uh, long play session for me, most definitely. So, all right. Well, nighttime has fallen, and we're going to go ahead and begin our magnificent journey. So, I will see you guys whenever we probably will be attacked by an aircraft. So that's honestly the most likely <laughs> time where I will see you guys next. So while we sailed across the North Atlantic here, I figured I would go ahead and talk about. Operation Drumbeat, or Peckenschlag as it's known as in German. Uh, Drumbeat is just a translation, obviously. What we are partaking in now is technically not Operation Drumbeat. Operation Drumbeat was just the initial deployment of the five. It was supposed to be six, but one of the U-boats had mechanical problems. Five U-boats towards the eastern seaboard. Uh, so, and this happened, you know, mid-December, early January is when the U-boats finally arrived here. Because it is a fairly long journey. As you can see, just a side note, we have made quite a bit of progress here. And, uh, I, I have bumped up the time compression considerably. But, that is just a side point. But the first ship that was sunk was the SS Cyclops by U-123. And this would kick off the second Happy Times, or American Shooting Season, as it's also known as. Uh, the Americans, or we, I guess, I am an American. Well, and the, the first ship was sunk off of Cape Hatteras, over here, down by South Carolina. And that would be known as Torpedo Alley, or Torpedo Junction. Uh, this was definitely a hot spot. I've heard it called both. But anyway, uh, yeah... I, uh, what was I saying? I totally forgot. But us Americans, we we didn't uh, take any precautions. It took us a long time to even adapt to using convoy systems and escorts and things like that. One, we didn't have very many escorts over here. A lot of our naval power was being shifted over to the Pacific uh, due to obvious <laughs> reasons. And the second one is Admiral Keane who was not very fond of the British and their uh, recommendations of adapting the to the convoy system and using it. Uh, he hated pretty much anything that was not American from what I can tell and he wanted to figure out his own solution. It took us a very long time and there were instances where U-boats would be shelling merchant ships out here and you know there would be bystanders kind of like just watching this U-boat sink this uh, helpless ship. Kind of like the first Battle of Bull Run, where they were having picnics and everything while, you know, soldiers were slaughtering each other. But yeah, kind of an interesting little tidbit, and I'll talk about it more. I'm actually reading a book right now on it. I've read it before, but I decided to give it a reread in light of this uh, playthrough. Uh, it's actually called Torpedo Junction, and it's called it's by Homer H. Hickam Jr. And it's a pretty good read. There's also uh, another one called Operation Drumbeat, 
I think it's by Gannon, Cannon, something like that is the last name. I don't remember exactly, but I do like this Torpedo Junction book a lot. And like I said, I'm giving it a reread now. Okay, so with all of that out of the way, I think we'll continue on our way. I bumped up the time compression quite a bit, and I'm actually... I normally don't record on two separate days, but I had to take a break, so... Yeah. I'm splitting up my recording schedule here a little bit because this journey is just very long. Uh, fuel is down to what, about 80%, maybe a little more. So we're actually making pretty good time. And uh, we have not sighted any merchant ships. And I was actually reading. So they were told not to engage any ships out here if it was under 10,000 tons. So I, I don't think we'll find anything larger than 10,000 tons. Anyway, if we do, I will definitely, definitely take a shot at that. But we'll close in here on the eastern seaboard. We'll be there in, let's see how long it's going to take us. Uh, time to course in, 179 hours, so, oh boy. And it is, the weather's not very great either. Probably helping us with air cover. Not that there's very much air cover out here in the black gap. Alright, so I'll stop rambling now and hopefully the next time you see me I'll be relatively close to the United States. The weather just cleared up and we have a ship spotted on the horizon. 313. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that actually looks fairly large. It kind of looks like an ore carrier from here. Let's check the tonnage on that bad boy. Let's see. It is alone. It would be a mighty fine deck gun target. Um, let's see. Work here over here, 7,000 tons. I think we're just going to disengage here because we are still fairly far out. Yeah, I'm just in the middle of the Atlantic here. Um, God, I really hate to do this, but I think we're just going to let them go and save all of our ordnance for the eastern seaboard. I am, I have very high expectations <laughs> for this shipping area, so uh, we'll go ahead and change course just a bit. Zero, four, zero. Alright, we'll, we'll turn a little bit, make our course, what, yeah, 304? Okay, and we'll kind of just break off contact here. Um, yeah, I, I do have high expectations for over here, and if anything, it'll be a little more difficult in-game than it was <laughs> in real life. Um, because we, as in the Americans, did not establish blackouts on our coastal cities, so all of these thick and juicy merchant ships will be illuminated by the cities, which definitely helped U-boat commanders out quite a bit. Oh, it looks like this ship spotted me, zigzagging. But well, we broke contact. Okay, we'll run away. I'm not too worried. Uh, there might be some coastal aircraft, but we're still fairly far out. Yeah, we are very far away. So we'll continue on our course. Okay, just a very quick update here. We have finally reached our patrol grid. I've been doing frequent dives just to see if we can uh, hear anything. And so far, we have not detected any more ships since that uh, ore carrier we sighted in the mid-Atlantic. But we are just piddle paddling around here for a bit and we can go ahead and bump our speed again. I just surfaced actually uh, not too long ago. So let's make sure the crew's all good. Everyone seems well rested and everything. Nothing. It's been a very pleasant journey I would like to think. Uh, yeah, no enemy aircraft or warships. We managed to make it here without uh, coming to near death. So. Alright, so I'll just continue to piddle around here for a bit. Once this is complete we'll move south. I think that's the current plan. Uh, I'll also probably skirt a little closer to the coastline here because why not? As you can see, it's very shallow. So if we do encounter, oh, I just got a pretty big chug. So that's actually the game telling us that there might be something thereabouts. I might actually go ahead and it's about time for a dive. We're due for a dive. Um, yeah, I hate how the game does that, but sometimes, you know, you gotta pick up on the hints. You gotta give some help. Alright. So, we'll go ahead a little bit. Yeah, let's go ahead and go down to periscope depth. And there we go. Nice and level. Let's see how actually, how deep is it down here? 
Can't be very deep. Only <laughs> 23 meters. So yeah, if we get into a sticky situation, this is not the place to really be. Let's go ahead and cut our electrics down a little bit. And let's see what we can hear. If anything. Um, Oh, well, looks like nothing really. Well, we'll stay submerged for a little bit and submerge through our turn. We'll probably surface around this area and uh, we'll continue hunting. And I'll get back to you guys when either, either A, our objective is complete, or B, we have detected something. Okay, we're still in our patrol area and we have detected a ship. We got a ship spotted there. Three, four, five degrees. Um, you sure it's still there, buddy? Oh, I see it. I can see it just breaking through the fog out there. Okay, well, it's, it is coming straight for us. We got we did get an update on it, so let's see. Let's go ahead and plot a course here, and we could probably submerge here. We do have we are in a fairly good position, so let's go ahead and yeah, periscope that, please. Perfect. And we'll just lay in wait here for it to uh, come across our path. Go ahead and watch our boat submerge here. Ooh, this is going to be exciting. First catch of the patrol. I'm debating... I might end up using magnetic torpedoes here. Give them another try. Maybe one magnetic and one impact. That's probably a safe bet, huh? But I do want to start using the magnetic torpedoes a little more. And we are slowly going under. Oh, you can see the ship way out there. Hello. Hopefully it didn't spot us. It is a very clear day. But I think, I think we're in the clear. Alright, and we are now safely under. We'll continue to kind of close in on it here. Don't want to be too close, and let's see if we can pick it up on hydrophones. Maybe there's multiple. Yeah, I can kind of hear it, but it's very faint. There we go. Looks like our sound operator picked him up. And we'll just let him close in before we even think about poking up our scope. Alright, let's really just slow down and make our turns. Alright, we're in a pretty good spot to identify now. Let's go ahead and raise scope. Tanker. Oh boy. Already. Uh, T3 tanker it looks like. That is actually a very good first catch. Alright. So we definitely don't want to miss this, now do we? Um, it's going to be at the very beginning, I believe. I don't shoot at these very often. It's very rare I find them. Let's see here. Um, do, do, do. Large tanker, 10,000 tons. Perfect. Go ahead and plug that in. Uh, let's go ahead and actually try to get speed here. We want this attack to go perfectly, so I'm not going to try any fancy new method here. I'm just going to go with the try and test at 315. Oops, accidentally cut my recording. All right. And we're going to just get in nice and close and personal with this guy here. It looks like he's probably going a fair clip. My guess is around 10 knots. And Mark, let's see here, 10 knots. Yep. All right. Perfect. All right. Let's get that out of here. And it is, I cannot make out the flag. Uh, hope it's American. Well, we're going to proceed as if it is American. We're going to shoot a salvo. We'll shoot two. Yeah, one at four. Why the hell not? Two four. We'll set to magnetic. What's the draft? 11.9. We'll do like 12 and some change. <laughs> and then tube one, uh, we'll set to seven meters. Sure, that should work. And change the salvo. 
we'll do a low spread and speed go ahead and plug in 10 knots range is probably yeah around what 500 meters 600 meters right now see like that oh he's definitely farther now aob all right and now we just wait here wait for him to get nice and close to me okay it is american perfect and he's gonna come into a very nice position here oh boy definitely within range okay let's get this all set now one more time one more range reading please 10,000 or 1,000 meters AOB let's go like so set open tubes one and four Okay, <laughs> I just wanted to be sure they're all set. <sighs> moment of truth, moment of truth. All right, we need to fire now. All right, tube one away, tube four away. Let's see what this looks like. It looks all right to me. Hopefully our magnetic torpedo actually detonates. That would be very nice indeed. And we're gonna go out and we're gonna watch this. Oh boy. So that's the magnetic. I guess wow it is pretty Torpedo low in the water. Torpedo Two hits. Perfect. I guess he was riding pretty low in the water. He must have been loaded down with supplies and oil. That's two impacts. The first ship of the patrol got hit. Awesome. And the magnetic did go off. But it did slam into the side of the hole. I wonder if that's actually going to go down. She is one large merchant ship. Well, if she is stubborn, we can always just go ahead and use the deck gun here. But hey, not too bad. Two for two. <laughs> I was expecting a little worse. Let's see. Yeah, she is listing pretty heavily to starboard. Hmm. I don't know if she's gonna, her engines are gonna quit here or what, but let's see where our impacts were. Yeah, not not ideal. Next time I'll definitely set it a little lower. Maybe next time I'll just shoot both as magnetic pistols to uh, reduce the amount of confusion with shooting a salvo and like that. But either way, that was very good. I'm actually kind of happy with that. And it looks like she might keep on sailing here, but we'll go ahead and turn with her and stalk her. Yeah, it looks like she might actually be stopping dead in the water. If that's the case, we can probably just lay in wait. She might not need any encouragement. Yeah, she's already listing pretty heavily. Not looking too good here. Well, we will just continue to stalk here. turn with her it looks like yeah she's pretty dead in the water I'm not really in a hurry I don't expect any American aircraft or warships to really come out here and investigate they probably think it was just a mine and yeah you can see her decks are starting to go awash I don't think she's going to need any encouragement we might as well just save the ammo and uh, wait here wait, wait and see and there's some secondary explosions going off and she is officially going down. Heck yeah, first ship of the patrol. That actually went rather well. Uh, it could have gone a lot worse, but I'm actually quite happy <laughs> with the results there. So let's go ahead and let's surface the boat. All head standard. Get this out of the way. Dun 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 dun. All right. And she, there we go. Our first kill of the patrol. I gotta say, that is a very good one. Let's see, 10,836 tons. Not too shabby. 
And that's our first, I believe that's the first ship we've sunk that's over 10,000 tons in our Let's Play. Pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and, let's see, do we need to stick around? Yeah, we still have to complete our 24-hour things. Well, we're going to go ahead and change course just a bit to avoid ramming into our tanker friend here. Because that would probably cause quite a bit of damage. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and turn away at a, a steady speed. We're not going to really hustle or anything like that. And it looks like she is starting to dip beneath the waves now. The bow is completely submerged. Yeah, so we're going to turn away and keep patrolling this grid, and then we'll move down south towards uh, Cape Hatteras. But, hey, first, we're going to watch her go down all the way. Oh, there goes a the flare. Awesome. All right, well, I'll continue onward. We'll go ahead and reload those torpedoes while we're sitting on the surface. And uh, we'll do our externals later. We still have plenty plenty of more torpedoes to go through before I even need to think about using externals. Alright, so with that out of the way, we'll continue onward, and I'll get back to you guys momentarily. Okay, we have another contact. Uh, the ship is moving south. Let's go ahead and just draw a line and turn to intercept here. It's going to take about three hours. Let's see, they say their speed is medium. Um... Oh no. Oh, here we go. It's on this side. Come here. Alright. So, there, well, let's wait for our turn to complete. So, in two hours. Ten knots in two hours. It'll move 37 kilometers. Yikes. We might actually have to... Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, we're actually going to have to bump up the speed a little bit. Let's go flank. We do want to catch this guy. If possible, we might just use the deck gun this time. I do want to save my torpedoes. Uh, I did not... Uh, as you can see, we have not moved very good far before we got a uh, an update on another ship. So we're going to go ahead and move to engage. Hopefully we pick him up. I really do hope so. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Alright, ship spotted. Well, that's another one. South, southwest. Okay. Let's go ahead and move. I, it's obviously not the same ship. Um, let's go ahead and mark its position. It looks like it's kind of hauling ass. Let's see here. What do we got? Give me a bearing, please. 336 degrees. Oh, I don't, I don't see anything, friendo. All right. Yeah, I don't. I don't see any smoke or anything. Where's he at now? Dead ahead. Yeah, I still don't see anything. Oh my goodness! I thought Discord was muted. Okay. Let's see here. Well, I still do not see anything, but. Go ahead and close in here. And we might just use the deck gun on this poor chap. Alright, where's he at now? Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. That looks like uh, deck gun material right there. <laughs> Let's go ahead and change course a little bit. Zero 30 degree change. Alright. And we'll go ahead and move to use guns. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste torpedoes on this little ship. And he's probably zigzagging now. I wonder if he has guns. I have a feeling he doesn't. Maybe he does, maybe he does have a stern gun back there, but he's not firing yet, which is fine by me. I guess we'll find out if he has a gun fairly shortly as we approach. Oh, yep, yeah, he sure does have a gun. Okay. All right, man, man the deck gun. All right, let's go ahead and... Woo, that was actually pretty close. Aim for one line. Fire at will. All right, everybody's yelling. All right, start firing, boys. And 
one you missed. How dare you. Yep, they're completely maxed out. They should actually do fairly well here. If only we could just take out that gun. The gun's actually getting pretty close. Close doesn't cut it. And they missed again. Uh, if they... Yikes. Another miss? I might actually hop on the gun then. They keep missing like this. This is this is an embarrassment. There we go, right on the nose. Boop the snoot. See where you go next. Yes, we are moving rather fast. Let's go ahead and slow down. The problem is if we slow down, it does make us a little easier to hit. And <laughs> these gunners, these American gunners are getting rather close to us. A little too close for comfort. But yeah, we're getting some pretty good hits now, so I might just sit up here on my perch and uh, watch, watch as my men do the handiwork. I don't see any need. And oh, they blew up the gun. <laughs> I guess they got tired of getting sh shot at. All right, in that case, hold fire. Fire einstellen. Let's get closer. <laughs> awesome. I guess they were like, I've had enough of that stupid little gun. Let's take care of it. Well, I'm, I'm glad they did. We can get nice and close and make all of our hits really count here. I'll go ahead and keep using some time compression. And close in on this, this merchant ship. Looks like... Well, it's certainly American. Alright, boys. Open fire. And bam, right into the hole. Pretty explosions. Another pretty good hit. And then we also have, man, we also have another ship that was moving south here. So we'll meander over here to investigate a little bit once we're done with this. I'll stop. Looks like they launched off a flare. I think they know their fate now. All right, let's just move slow. Do not want to get rammed, however. That would not be good. I, mean, I think she's done for. We'll pump a few more rounds into her and then we'll move onward to the next target. Let's see, are we actually done here? Yep, we have completed our obligations to patrol this area, so we'll move south once we investigate this other ship. Probably let her be. Probably stop now, huh? She's in golden flames. Uh, one more and then we'll call it quits. Fire Fire right, And we'll just meander away. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna last. Uh, just in case, one more. <laughs> All right, we'll fire. Fire einstellen. Fire einstellen. All right, we'll mark this location here, and all ahead standard to this area. And hopefully this one will go under. Let's get a watch crew on here. Oh, maybe she'll just sit dead and there we go. She's going down. Perfect. Okay. Good. I'm glad I didn't have to come back. And <laughs> that's one ship going under let's see do I see anything on the horizon uh, I personally do not hopefully we'll be able to catch this other ship that was moving this way I suppose we'll find out let's go ahead and go down the periscope depth and take a listen so that's two ships down already man and then we're already stalking another I can definitely see why they called it the American shooting season because this is already very glorious. That was a small freighter, only 2,000 tons. But hey, not a bad use of our deck on ammunition, if I do say so myself. Alright, and we'll go ahead and take a listen here. Just to make sure everyone's still happy, and it looks like they are. Alright. Hmm. 
I'm not hearing anything. Oh well, I'll piddle around here and then we'll plot a course to the south. Uh, and I'm probably actually going to cut the episode here. I feel like we've been going on for a pretty good while. But this has been a very successful first part of our first patrol. And I have a feeling it's only going to get a little... Only going to get better from here. So, thank you all for watching. This is Wolfpack345 signing off. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.